What is up everybody, Visual Timmy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can keep your resolution while resizing in Procreate. So here we have our coloring workshop image. Now, if you wanna resize it, you might be tempted to come up here and resize it this way, and then crop it and, you know, try to get it back to where it was. Now, this is not gonna work, and it's gonna look a little wonky, and you're not gonna get exactly the resizing that you want. So what you're going to want to do is come over to your crop and resize, but instead come up to settings, press this little keychain to lock the aspect ratio, then press resample canvas. From here, we can change this to, let's say, 1500. Now that's going to be half as big as it was before. And it's not looking like we're changing anything here. But when we press done, it actually resized our canvas and the image while constraining proportions and trying to retain as much detail and quality as possible. Now, if you're gonna to wanna to try something more extreme by, let's say, ramping this up to 6,000, now we're going to see a little bit of artifacts from the resizing. Now, we've it's gone a little bit blurry, and I don't know if that's something that we wanna keep. So let's press two fingers, tap to undo. And we've got our canvas back at the original size, looking nice and crispy. What we can try to do is come to crop and resize, come over to settings, lock this, and then change this to 6,000. Press done. Now we haven't actually resized the image and that's because we're going to resize it the old school way, but we're gonna try a few things along the way. The settings that we're gonna to wanna to experiment with is this one down here. It is the half checkered circle down here. Now I have mine set to nearest neighbor, but by linear and by cubic are different ways to resample the size of your artwork and this will have different effects. We can cycle through these effects and try to see which one's gonna look the best. So I'm gonna duplicate my layer twice and turn the bottom two off. On the first one, we'll leave it on nearest neighbor. Now we're going to press fit to canvas and it's going to pop it open and fill it all the way to the max. We'll press done. We'll turn that layer off and we'll go to the second layer. And this one, we will change this to bilinear and we'll press fit to canvas. Now we could turn that one off, turn on the last one and we'll press this button change by linear to by cubic, and then fit to canvas. We're looking at this edge right here. So when we used by cubic right here, this layer is by cubic, I could rename it, but I'm not going to. And this top layer here, this one was set to nearest neighbor. So when we turn off the top layer, we see our by cubic layer and you see how blurry this is. A lot of people's procreate canvases are set to by linear or by cubic. And most of the time to get to nearest neighbor, you have to change that setting on your own. So from by linear to by cubic to nearest neighbor. So in this case, resizing larger, we have nearest neighbor that works the best. That's giving us a really crisp line. Now, if you're resizing downwards, or if let's say you're doing a little bit of rotation on your object, these different blending modes are going to act differently. Nearest neighbor likes to make a really sharp line with the next pixel that it thinks is available. And since we're scaling from a perfect square to a perfect square, it does a complicated algorithm that basically tells it where it thinks the pixel should go. And since we're in such a perfect square, it gets really good results. But if you're shrinking things, if you're using distort and transforming things, then it might not look so great using nearest neighbor. You just have to experiment, come in here to your nearest, your interpolation and see what you like the most. Once you press done, you'll be able to zoom in and see your lines. So that's just a little tip on interpolation and your anti-alias settings in Procreate. I hope you learned something. If you did, press subscribe. If you didn't, go ahead and press the like button because why not? Hope to see you in the next video.